So I'm packing up and I'm on my lunch. I have eight minutes left and Rob got me a surprise before uh, I head to Florida and head to my parents' house tonight. Um, it's just was so sweet and the card was very nice and I just want to show you it and how sweet it is. He got me a toolkit. He got me a screwdriver. So when I get to Florida, I can assemble my desk, which is right over here and my computer chair, which I'm taking apart a little bit later today. This is the start of a new chapter for both of us. We've had some great times, laughs, experiences together. I know you will do well in a new adventure. You will have many new experiences and exciting times ahead. I look forward to our visit to Florida and back here in Michigan. You will always have a place with me. I will miss you dearly. I love you and wish you great times ahead. And I'm definitely gonna miss Michigan, but I've wanted something like this for a long time. And I really just need to make it happen before I get, you know, older than I am. And Rob is my best friend and I love him so dearly. We've had a lot of fun times together over the five years. But I gotta get back to packing and let's go to Florida. I was giving Rob images of Vinny because he passed away and I deleted my whole photo library and I've had this for over 10 years, 14 years probably. And hopefully it restores all of them. So Rob and I are having my goodbye cocktail. And Rob, do you want to say anything? Um, anything? Can I say anything? <laughs> no, I, I wish you well. I know you're going to have a good adventure and get to soak your wild oats down in Florida. Oh. No, it'll be fun for you. Okay, I am all packed up. I yeah. had... Had a drink with Rob, and I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what I have and how crazy it is. So this is the trunk. Yeah, that's my Mr. Ice coffee maker. I took my computer chair apart this trip, and all of that. Yep, it was so fun. It's been three years in this room, two and a half. And it is my final moment in here. Let's shut off the light. <sighs> okay. So, I am on the way to my parents' house. Everything is packed up. I am a hurtling girl. I am just so ready to just like relax for the day. It's been a busy two days packing, which I had some stuff packed before, but it literally, you know, I have, I have everything that I need in this damn car. Tomorrow's Friday, and then I will wake up at Saturday at 4 a.m. to get on the road. And I just want to get to Chattanooga. I just really want to get to St. Pete already. But hey, we're gonna try our best. We're gonna drive safe. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have good memories. Now, guys, we just got done with Applebee's. Making a viral TikTok DIY craft with my brother. Boo. What? What? So this is what we have to start with. Well, not to start with, we're this far in. You wanna take it with you, you wanna hang it? I was like, well, I wanted a video timer. Or face timer. Don't have face time? Cause she, she, does, she has a Samsung. Uh, so, my parents got a new washer and dryer and just got that installed and just working. Look how big that is. Today was so stressful. So freaking stressful. I literally got to work at before nine and finished at six. And my dad is putting in a new washer and a dishwasher and it has been such a stressful day. The screaming and the yelling and the getting things done. But yeah, I have to wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. I'm having a beer to chill out. I'm gonna go to dinner with my family at 
I invited some friends here, but none of them can make it, so it's all right. Best wishes to me. What a morning, and it is still so foggy out. And <coughs> I finally got to I-75, which I didn't want to take I-75, I don't think. And let me tell you, it is so freaking foggy. I got up at four in the morning, got on the road, drove two and a half hours in this fog, and then I decided at 6.50 in the morning that my butt would sit in the McDonald's till 7.30 for the sunrise. It has been such a stressful morning. And on top of it, when I selected the route that I needed to go from Michigan to here, I selected a route that I'd never been before. Usually I go to Nashville, you know, Louisville, Nashville, and then Chattanooga. Instead, I'm going all the way to freaking Ohio. And I am so stressed. And I really hope I get there in an adequate amount of time. I don't want traffic. I want it to be easy peasy cover girl, whatever it's, that saying is. But it has been a morning, a morning. And I have 106 miles on this highway. <sighs> Let's giddy up. You gotta make it. And, ugh. I'm so glad it's light out. See, here we go. That car just disappeared and it is literally probably four car lengths away. 11.29, it's gorgeous out. I just stopped in a gorgeous place in Kentucky. It was this gas station in between some mountains. It was very pretty. I am about 200 miles left till Chattanooga. I'm eating some Gordettos. I got more water. I got a charger for my phone for the car like a little plug-in for the the 12 volt thing and yeah I'm having a great day it's way better this morning let me tell you that I'm ready to get to Chattanooga I honestly feel better than the last times that I drove down I honestly feel like I have more energy so I'm excited to get lunch in about three hours two hours but yeah I will catch up to you when I'm checked in my hotel to Chattanooga. I am sitting at the restaurant Jonathan's and it is 86 degrees. It feels so nice out. Yes. I'm back from the restaurant and I think I'm gonna take a nap or I might go back and have a couple more beers and then just go to bed really early. But I don't know. I just trimmed my beard. I really needed it. But yeah. I am... It's really sitting in that I'm gonna be moving to St. Pete. Oh, I've never done anything like this before. Good morning, it is 9.02 a.m. I stopped at Duncan, got a water and a small iced coffee. Original blend. Mmm. Woke up at five instead of four. Was way better. Got on the road by 5.30. No fog today, thank God. Now I'm listening to the viral podcast and heading on down to Florida. I have like 250 miles left. So yeah, it's going to be a, another long day. I'm excited to get there to my Airbnb. I can't wait to do like an Airbnb tour. Can't wait to unload all this stuff out of my back seat. And then I'm going to put my computer chair together. I, I'm going to shower. I'm going to get in that outdoor shower and enjoy it. So... I'm ready to be in St. Pete. I'm ready to meet Eric tomorrow, which is one of my potential roommates. And there's another guy named Grant. Uh, I can't wait to meet him, find a house, live together, you know, be the beach boys, go out, have fun, get food, get fit. Ooh, didn't think I was gonna say that one. But yeah, it's gonna be a great day. And let's just get to Florida. I probably won't do another update because I just wanna St. Pete, and it's not even sunny. I'm joking, but it is so windy out. So I hope you can hear me. Uh, I just had a sandwich with no meat on it, which I thought it did, and a beer. So I'm gonna be walking down Central Ave, seeing what there is to offer.